Welcome to part number 52 of Gran Turismo 5 Ace Mech. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing the Schwarzwald League B. Two more races, one at Cape Ring, one at the Nordschleife, and we can only use two cars, sadly. So for the Cape Ring race, um... I already have an idea of what I'm going to be using, but for the Nordschleife race, I don't know yet. We'll take a look later. But... This race, we're going to use one of my C63 AMG. Why do I have two? Because the game hates me. Alright, game is finally loaded, and there's another C63 behind us. But, hey, that's okay. Okay, giving this a second attempt, so, um... Yeah, I went ahead and bought sports soft tires. Which is something I should probably just do. You know, every time I get one of these cars and I never do them, I don't know why. Yeah, it's the BMW M5 that's leading the race. I thought you were a doctor. Jeez, talk about plagiarism, Sean. Just copying and pasting stuff. Didn't you learn in school not to do that? You just say, don't go to Wikipedia. That's an F minus, sir. Wikipedia gives you magic powers. Oh shit. Yeah, these tires are exactly what I needed to challenge the M5. I mean, holy fuck, like, I'm just starting, it's starting to really hit me now that, like, this race be long. It's five laps around Cape Ring. There we go, finally got the move done. But yeah, it's five laps around here, three minutes a lap, 15 minute race. This doesn't sound like a lot, but I don't know if I don't like Cape Ring that much. Feels like an eternity. Yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, when I was in school, like in public school, I use, I always use Wikipedia, but you gotta go look for the original articles, like look for the sources. That's basically what I would do. Even then, I mean, it's not like. By doing that, Sean, is technically you're not even using Wikipedia. That's like a source. Oh, guess what, guys? Four laps to go. Fucking cape right? like all the circuit necessarily is the northern part I just don't like I don't like that whole section only the southern section then the um, the in the infield or the inside or whatever whatever it's called the only parts of Cape Ring that I actually do like Oh, 
gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm being dumb, just get out of the grass. No dog, I heard me like a track, so the track in the track. Yeah, thank you, exhibit. Appreciate it. Oh no. Too late on the brakes. Air. Yep, both of us do. Does anybody remember that video from like 2010? And um, somebody got like a million views on YouTube because they went ahead and uploaded like a race at Cape Ring where like Bugatti Veyron did an overtake from above. I have no idea what in the hell you're saying here. Consumption of bread. Let's drive with the windshield wipers on. I know. Need the extra downforce. Attack the weak point. Uh, okay. I wish I could, but I I, I don't have enough experience. So, um, race will be done by now, but nope, I gotta do it the long way. Jesus Christ, like, I'm so behind with memes and stuff, like, I, I don't even know, like, half of them. Sometimes I feel dumb because I have to have stuff explained to me. And I'm just like, ah, haha. -ha. You see, these don't know real cop. SLS that's joined in the party. Instead of focusing on the battle behind, I should just focus on head. We gained a lot of time in that viral section. God damn it. Who laps to go here? Please kill me. Oh, no, 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 Okay, saved it. Oh, shit, the SLS took second. All right, that's not good.
I didn't mean to go up to fifth gear. The only language of gods is Scottish. Yeah, clearly. You missed the Dunderhead? I don't think I've ever heard anyone use that as an insult. Holy shit, that SLS is so much faster than me. Clearly, because he's driving a freaking supercar. I'm driving a goddamn, you know, a Dan. Alright, now it's time to go. Can't make any mistakes at this point. He swear to my you. Hey, because you don't speak Scottish. Alright. They're coming. Go ahead and use up all of our tires here. There's no wear in race, but put the tires in the red. Just trying to go as fast as possible. One of a three-second gap, but that's gonna close very quickly. Okay, we have a small cushion between ourselves and the SLS. It fits them loud and insulting to the ears. Oh boy. You're lucky that GTSV is not here. Okay, well, the SLS isn't closing the gap that much. Starting to back off just a bit. Bit of breathing room, but still not a whole lot. We gotta be careful. Surprisingly, still 3.3 seconds. I thought it would have closed by now. still wide. Still is wide. I think we might be even piecing it just a little bit. No, it's still the same gap. No, 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 no. No. My god, my god. Go, 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 go. Okay, the spiral section. The spiral section is we're gonna. Oh wait, we can get him here. We can get him here. We can get him here. On the inside. We're so slow off the exit. We're gonna have to go and just open up our gap here. Okay, I think we might be okay. I think we might be fine, guys. I made that one small mistake. We're trying to hold the lead because I stuck here. 3.1 seconds. Alright, we're good. Hey, Tyler, what's going on, dude? You can swear now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> The American equivalent to the Scottish Ohio. Okay. 
that was pretty stressful. Mainly because of the fact that I didn't even once do this race again. Okay, there we go. Moving on to the second and much more exciting track. Also, Barney, you have mixed feelings with Capering. What are your mixed feelings? I have mixed feelings about it too, where I think the southern section is much better than the northern section. Okay, I have no uh, premium cars that I could use. Race. Separating cars by performance points, what can I use? I guess I'll use this, because Novelari, I don't see any other championship we can really use this thing in this game, to be honest. Or GT4 or GT6. So screw it. We're gonna use it. Ala Alabama or Florida? <laughs> um, Florida. The southern section is really better. Daytona. Well, Alabama has Talladega. And again, I like Daytona more than Talladega. I mean, I don't know. As an op for ovals? Talladega, hands down. I like Talladega more as an oval track. For super speedway racing, for plate racing, because it's crazier, in my opinion. But, Daytona, I think, is better because it has a really good roval. Good road course. Behind this slowness. Jesus Christ. Try my best to get around him without being super dirty. That boy held me up. Wasted a lot of my time. And of course, this car is actually way better than the Mercedes that we just drove, so I expect us to get to the front right away. Oh no. Okay. Only a minor mistake. Didn't lose too much time. Crimes committed in the area. Yeah, Florida is not necessarily the safest place to live, dude. That's not a surprise. Like, Indianapolis? I thought Indianapolis would be like a nice, maybe like, Midwest style town. You know, quiet and everything. Hell no. Hell to the freaking no. That place is. Riddled with crime as well in some areas. Like, Los Angeles. ACK. No problem, dude. Thank you, anyways. Yeah, there's an airport right next to the speedway at Daytona. Excuse me, gentlemen. Don't mind me, I just spun. This car is really quick. Honestly, very surprised how quick this car is. Or Sleka? Um, I don't know. That's a hard question, dude. That's a really hard question to answer. I like them both very much. Maybe I have to go with the Subi Gang, just because those impresses are just monstrous. And Celica's have haven't really been all that crazy until the GT Force came out. The GT4 RC models or whatever. But 
I don't know, Celicos are so nice at the same time. I love to own an early 90s one. A GT4, or GT4 RC in particular. But yeah, on the back stretch here, we're going to be able to catch the leader. Not have to worry about a thing. Who's leading the race? Is that another M5? Yes, yes it is. Kind of a dirty overtake, but okay. So it's a carousel taking the lead of the race. Surprisingly, the pack behind us is still keeping up somewhat. Only the ones making stick. Oh, well, there you go. So, not a dirty overtake confirmed. Totally clean and within sporting regulation. Not looking like a missile. Gotta stay focused. Gap a little bit more. It's important that I'm not bad. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Easy, 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 easy. Once again, I almost bought all the race at the very end. Very GTA game? Uh, GTA 4. Because I'm very crazy about storyline driven games, and GTA 4 arguably has the best story. That including the expansion packs, the Ballad of Gay Tony and the Lost and Damned. The three of them together make an amazing story. Second favorite would probably be GTA San Andreas. What about you, Barney? Which GTA do you like? A lot of people like to argue with me too and be like, no, nah, you're fucking crazy, because GTA 4 there was nothing to do in Free Realm. I'm like, yes there was. There was still stuff to do, like compared to GTA 3. And there's still a lot to there's still quite a bit to do in that game. Maybe not to the extent of San Andreas or GTA 5 even, but it was still a solid game, and just the story just, it couldn't be matched by any other GTA game. Just saying. Probably doing the straightaway because there's nothing to do. Oh, this car has a horn, okay. What do you think I have? I wouldn't think it would have a horn because it's a concept. I want to say, no, Barney, I mean, obviously you're way younger. Dude, you're obviously way younger. You gotta understand that at the time when GTA San Andreas came out, dude, there was no other game like it. I was your age when it came out, like in 2004. I was your age when it came out. No, I wasn't. I was 10, I think. The point is, dude, that game was... It really changed gaming forever, in my opinion. It did so much for, for the video game genre. Like, it's one of the, the best games of all time. Memes aside, it's such a good game. Anyone who hasn't played it, I recommend playing it. Um, GTA Vice City. So, rated M. That would be my first rated M game that I've ever played.
I remember my my mom walking on my sister playing it and gunning down people at the mall, and she freaked the hell out. I think PG-18 is Peggy. Ooh, okay. I completely forgot this was a thing. Rip the timing belt. Yeah, oof. So yeah, here's our Audi Le Bar Le Bar. Pike Speed Quattro. Because this car is really cool. It eventually became what, the Q7 I think? This is one of the cars that does not exist in Gran Turismo 4's Japanese version. And since I plan on playing that version, I will plan on using this car somewhere. Games are E, E, 10, T, and M. Not outside of here. Oh yeah, this car's a thing. Well anyways guys, that'll do it for this video. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A spec, um, I have no idea what championship we're doing. It'll be a surprise, I guess, because I haven't made up my mind yet.